morning. Welcome to the new Flan Outsider. Well, today I'm just in on a little soul trip. I'm gonna bring in some supplies because spring is just around the corner. So today I brought in some uh, the proper insulation for the ceiling. I brought in my big batteries for my solar system. And I also brought in some fuel for the diesel generator or the diesel heater and the gas generator. I got a few things to do around the cabin. I got to make some measurements and I got to bring in as much as I can on a snowmobile because it's much easier to transport things on a snowmobile. So we're going to get everything organized. We're going to get the cabin warmed up and then we're going to go down and try some ice fishing because I want to try as many ponds as I can before the spring comes. So I get a feeling for where the trout are, what kind of trout is in what pond and things. And I'm going to make a pot of clam chowder before I go. I'll let that simmer on the stove. And then when we come back from ice fishing, we'll have a nice pot of clam chowder for lunch. All right, so this is a, a real cold day and a good day for a pot of clam chowder. So we're gonna make the clam chowder and put it on the stove and let it simmer for a while. And then we'll go down to one of the lakes and try for brook trout. See what's around here. I'm experimenting with all the ponds around here to see where the trout are.
Okay, well, we'll let the uh, clam chowder simmer for a while. Uh, we're going to get ready now. We'll go down to another lake I want to try and see if we can catch some trout. And after that, our clam chowder should be all ready to go. And we'll have a good lunch. Well, we're back on the lake. So the lake is taking a bad beating. This is the outflow here. It's already thawed out and it's only March the 9th. So we're gonna go down on the main lake. And when I get down so far, I'll drill some holes and see how thick the ice is. But yeah, the ice is going fast. Okay, so this is the lake I wanted to try for a while. I'm not sure what's in there, if anything's in there. It's a lake in Newfoundland, so it's something in there. It might be small, but most of the lakes and ponds around here got something in them. So let's drill some holes, see how much ice we got, and we'll go from there. I wanna, I wanna try out the mouth of this big brook here. Because last week we had a bunch of rain and that means I washed a whole bunch of debris including insects down the river under the ice so the trout are lined up for that hopefully So we got about 12 inches of ice there, 30 centimeters. Not bad so far. We'll go up closer to the brook. There'll be less ice, but there'll be more trout. The wire's really deep. We'll try a bunch of different spots because I haven't been here before. But it's a beautiful lake and it's got a river there that goes all the way to the ocean. So it's got to be trunked. Might be small, but it got to be trunked.
Well, there's no luck here. Mm. I tried a bunch of spots, about 10 spots actually. I think, I think we'll go down the middle of the lake. There's an island down there. We'll try that spot. And then we'll go all the way down to the beginning of the lake where the brook runs in. So we got a couple of fox tracks here. You can tell it's a fox because they keep their uh, one foot in front of the other straight as an arrow all the way down. They waste no energy. Nice and straight. Path of least resistance. If that was a coyote or a wolf, they walk like dogs and their, their paw prints are wider apart. All right, spot number two. Let's try this for an hour. We'll give all the spots maybe an hour, hour and a half this morning. Easterly wind today, not the best day for fishing. I'm not making excuses, but it's not the best day for uh, fishing. Easterly wind brings a low pressure system, and the fish have bladders, so they have to regulate their bladder by going high or low in the water. And when they got easterly wind at the low pressure, they have to go right to the bottom. When they go right to the bottom, they don't like to eat, they like to eat a little bit, but not very much at all. It's kind of like getting an antacid stomach. Uh, you don't feel the best. You had to eat. If somebody brought you a piece of cheesecake and a cup of tea, yeah, you could eat. But normally you couldn't eat. And that's the way it is with fish during easterly winds and low pressure systems. Okay, well that's spot number three. I got one more spot to try at the very end where the brook runs out where we started off this morning. We'll give that a try first before we go back and enjoy our clam chowder. Beautiful, beautiful day. Unbelievable. Just a hint of wind. It's like minus five. Don't even need your mitts on, sir. Wow, perfect. Absolutely perfect. trying a five of diamonds and I got a gold spoon and I'm trying on a fluorescent one. I did really well on this fluorescent one up in uh, the other pond with Gary and I. So we'll try that one today.
Oh, hey, you got a nice one. I guess persistent phase off. Well, I didn't get skunk, I got one. <clears throat> one little trout. Nice one too. Maybe I can add that with my clam cheddar. Look at that guy. That's a nice one. It's got nice colors. It's a big drought. Okay, well we made it back. We did get two nice trout. One really nice one actually. So now we're gonna have uh, some clam chowder and a few other things. Good cup of tea and then we gotta pack up and go out. Make myself a little bun to go with the uh, clam chowder. So I'd like to give a shout out to Daryl Wells. He makes uh, fancy woodworking things like these coasters. You can also do sign for your cabins or your homes and things like that. He also got a nice YouTube channel. Daryl Wells, different stuff. He's got a good channel, you might wanna check him out. When you get your clam chowder all done like you like it, got your potatoes nice and soft. You want to add some scalded milk. Not too much. We're not making Boston clam chowder here. We're just making clam chowder. Now let that simmer for half an hour and That'll be perfect. 